Canadian athletes getting a hero's welcome in Fort McMurray. The importance of this event for both the community and the athletes is immediately clear. I wish to win gold medals for Team Nunavut. I'm really excited and I can't even feel my own body because of the excitement. <laughs> that means a lot, like, this is a big dream come true. The first Arctic Winter Games were created in 1970 to showcase their sports on their turf, including traditional Dene games and Arctic sports, sports that test agility, mental and physical strength, skills needed to survive the harsh Arctic environment. And I'm hoping that more people can, you know, see the true spirit of Indigenous people and our culture and how we celebrate. The last games were held five years ago. In 2020, the pandemic forced their cancellation at the last minute in Whitehorse. But those familiar with the games will notice something big missing this year. Team Yamal from a remote region in northern Russia. The AWG's International Committee suspended the contingent weeks after Russia invaded Ukraine. A decision some say is regrettable, given that Yamal is an autonomous region. It's really sad. This Russian sports editor hopes the break is temporary. Because uh, I think it's uh, really uh, easy in such circumstances to lose your motivation uh, to do sports, uh, to lose your hope someday to travel somewhere. I mean, yes, there's a missing component, um, but there are still eight jurisdictions. Um, you know, the athletes are prepared, you know, the, the, the coaches, the mission staff, everybody's prepared. The games will go on. So, Juanita, this event is usually held every two years, but there was a five-year break, and so it'll be back next year. Yes, Ian, that's right. Well, next year is also a catch-up year for the Arctic Winter Games. They will be held in Alaska. But in 2026, the Games were supposed to be in Russia. Now, those plans have been cancelled because of the war in Ukraine. John Rada with the Arctic Winter Games International Committee, he says that they are in discussions with Yellowknife to see if the NWT capital city can host the 2026 Arctic Winter Games. And Rada says that that decision needs to be made sooner rather than later because it can take up to at least three years for a city to plan hosting the Arctic Winter Games. Ian? Thanks, Juanita.